sir. Good morning. Your name? Hamlata, sir. Hamlata. Hamlata, can I have your resume? Hamlata, you introduce yourself. Good morning, sir. Myself, I am from Ganpur, Karimara. I am graduated of BTEC from SVS Group of Institutions in the stream of CSC with aggregate 7.37. Uh, my 12th standard has been completed from SRM Junior College, Anamkona. My I have completed my SSC board from JPHS High School. Uh, my major project name is uh, Fingerprint Image Identification and I acted as a team leader. Uh, my passion is to become software developer. In my freedom, I do things like watching movies, listening to music. My father name is Tirupati. Uh, he is a driver he is more confident about his decisions and I grabbed that uh, confidence from him as a strength. My, mo my mother is more patient than anyone. Uh, her name is Sandhya and I grabbed that patience also from her as my strength. And I have an elder brother. His name is Heman. He is an employee of TCS. He is more supportive and caring. That's all about me. Thank you for giving, Thank you for giving this opportunity to be myself. Okay, Hamidha. So, can you explain what is the what is the full form of uh, SQL? So, structural query language. Sir. Okay, can you derive the difference between SQL and new no SQL? So, SQL is a language. Uh, by using it, outlines the syntax that uh, we can use uh, that allows us to write the queries to manage the relational database. Whereas, no SQL is a non-relational database management system. Uh, in this, we Data is in the form of documents, graphs, key values, and uh, it, it follows the dynamic structure. Okay, so explain the difference between uh, HDBMS and uh, RDBMS and NDBMS. Can you explain it each one? Yes, sir, of course. HDM, HDBMS for, stands for Hierarchical uh, Database Management System, in which the data will be stored in the form of uh, hierarchical manner, just like a tree type structure. Uh, the advantage of HDBMS is uh, the data stored in first node, uh, we can search the data very easily in less time. And uh, the main disadvantage of uh, HDBMS is we, uh, where we don't know and there is no guarantee for where the data is present. Uh, to overcome this problem, uh, they introduced another database management system that is NDBMS, Networking Database Management System, in which this, in this also, the data will be stored in the hierarchy line, but along with the networking structure. In this way, we can overcome the uh, disadvantage of uh, HDBMS. Just like we can find the data which is stored in middle node or last node in uh, less time. And it, it, uh, NDBMS also some have disadvantages like uh, it is complex when the amount of data is more. Uh, to overcome this problem also, they introduced RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, in which the data stored in the form of tabular manner along with the uh, relation of two or more tables. In this, we can overcome the disadvantages of HDBMS and NDBMS. Uh, in this, uh, the table is a, as we all know, the table is a collection of rows and columns. Uh, for RDBMS, we have specific names for rows, columns and tables. Uh, in RDBMS, the table name is also known as entity or relation and the rows are also known as record or tuples. The columns are also known as attributes or fields. That's it. Okay. So, what is the DBMS process? So, uh, if we want to store the data, we need a database, right? So, to communicate with the database, we need a manager like that is uh, DBMS, database management system. Through DBMS, we can search the data in database. But to communicate with the DBMS, we have to use the language SQL. Uh, if we want to search the data, we have to send the query to DBMS. Then after, DBMS will process the query to search the data. If the data present in our DBMS, in the database, the DBMS will show the output to the user of us. Okay, can you explain the difference between DBMS and RDBMS? Uh, DBMS is normal, uh, is a database management system, whereas RDBMS is a relational database management system. Uh, in DBMS, the data will be stored in table manner. But if we want to uh, specify the relation between two tables, we have to done it or uh, maintain it programmatically. Uh, whereas in RDBMS, that uh, relation of two, two or more tables will be specified at the uh, 
time of table creation this is the main difference and uh, another difference is sorry uh, dbms doesn't control uh, doesn't contain security whereas in rdbms we have multiple levels of security it doesn't uh, rdbms doesn't support the client architect uh, client server architecture or distributed whereas rdbms supports client server architecture and distributed uh, and uh, when compared to uh, uh, when we compare dbms and rdbms dbms has a poor performance than rdbms that's it okay so for uh, explain about the ddl statements so we have uh, first of all we, we use ddl for uh, for the purpose of creating or deleting the table in this week we have five commands like create alter rename turn truncate drop uh, to create a table we use create command uh, to the alter command is used for three purposes uh, three purposes sir uh, like uh, for adding a column or deleting a column if we want to change the column name we use alter alter command for renaming if we want to change the name of a table we use rename command for if we want to delete some whole uh, rows of a table we use truncate command if we want to delete a total table we use drop command so what is the difference between truncate and drop by using the truncate we can delete the whole table or by using the drop we can delete the whole table by using drop command we can delete the whole table drop or truncate drop sir okay fine so explain the difference uh, explain about uh, dql statements what is the purpose of the dql the uh, purpose of dql statements sir uh, to search the data in the table sir to search the data we have uh, six types of commands in dql like uh, select where from uh, order by group by and hash okay so what is the uh, what are the literals are there in the java in sql there are three types of literals in java sir okay in sql sir one is a number and another is character and another is data dates okay so if i'm using literals in the select statement at the time what it will be happen it will print the uh, each and every row the same lines same value of data okay so what is the purpose of aliasing by using aliasing we can uh, give another name for the column name sir and it is uh, temporary okay can you give me with one example you can assume your own self i have two columns okay so first column is student name and next column is location and if you want to give that aliasing name to this two columns also how you are going to change yes sir of course uh, by using can i say syntax sir or yeah you can say syntax and as well as you can tell the okay. answer also. select student as student name S names. Okay. Okay. Uh, comma. What did you say, sir? Location. Location. Ah, uh, L location as L O C, sir. From uh, student semicolon. Okay, fine. So that's it. I have left.